Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. We're at CS 2011 and we're at Alcatel Lucent's booth. We're going to see Virtual Venue. It's part of their NG Connect solution. So, take it away, Daniel. Okay, so basically, first of all, we have to launch the application on your tablet PC. Mm -hmm. It's an application that we're developing the baseball team in the United States, and we expect to be rolling this out over time. So, we are loading the application. The first thing that's going to happen is that we're going to get a menu on your screen. Okay, so first of all, obviously, the game is the most important thing. So, we click on that. So, first of all, you will see on the screen the same thing you will be watching at home. However, now this is where this application comes into uh, being powerful for you because it will give you a much better experience while you are at the stadium. If you drill down, now you can see like different cameras. So you can select a different camera, you can have different angles, you can see statistics, you can see instant replays, you can get like behind the scenes type of information. For example, I actually prefer to watch football at home because I feel like, you know, before you know the play is over and you end up in watching this and replay anyway. So now with this, I can have the same experience in the ballpark. So basically I'm combining my at home experience with my at the ballpark experience. All right? Cool. So, so that's very good. So now, in addition to that, now we can do a lot of other things. For example, we have like a, a super fan icon, all right? And in the super fan, for example, if we click on that, you know, we can have like a message board where super fans can upload information to it. You know, whether it's like a video or a photograph or all the information, like a happy birthday mom, you know, that type of thing. And you can actually share that with other people, with your friends. It's almost like a Facebook kind of an experience, you know what I'm saying? So that's very nice. Um, <coughs> If we go to the next one, we have what we call crowd games, and this is actually the capability to actually have some fun in the stadium with other people at the stadium. For example, let's say you want to do a crowd dance, all right? You know, you, you see that that's uh, the section you're in, and here comes the wave. So get ready to do the wave. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, if the game is not going that way. Maybe that's what you want to do. You know, all right? So. Um, Another thing that's very important is like, you know, what we call our wear, that part of the application. You can look at my ride, you can see where you park, so you remember later on, you can earmark that. So you can actually um, look at your seat. Right? So this is basically where you're sitting. Um, let's say you love your seat, right? You know, you will have to set up a profile in advance if you want to. And you know, you actually can have like credit card information in there. You can actually purchase the same seat for a future event if you like. So th those are the kinds of things that you can do. Uh, in addition to that, you can actually, another one that everybody loves is like the nearest bathroom. So everybody has to go to the bathroom at some point in time. So basically, based on your location, you know, it's a location-based, you know, enabled kind of an application. So you don't know where you're sitting. It'll give you the information of the next, the closest restroom. But more importantly, it'll give you a live feed of how long the line is. So if the line is too long, you may want to actually like to go to a different one. Okay, so. And where is that feed coming from? Uh, this is, would be from the ballpark, from the ballpark itself. Camera. Okay. All right. Um, another application, part of the we call public transportation. Let's say you came by bus and the traffic was hard. So oh, I'm not going to do that on the way back. You may want to go back by train. So basically, it'll, you know, you can pull up like train schedule type of information. So you know, to give you a much more complete experience to enhance your um, outing uh, to the ball game. All right. So. Uh, other things we can do is have food and drink. Everybody likes to eat, you know, mm -hmm. when you're at the ballpark. So basically, you can look at all the restaurants that are available. Again, they will have your credit card information already on file. You can actually order from your seat, and they may actually offer like a special service where they actually can deliver food to you personally. It may not be possible to ever sit in the stadium, but there may be like a preferential area where this is actually quite feasible. And you know, it's like a win-win. You get a better service, they make more money. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's also possibility. Similarly, uh, the same way you can have food delivered to your seat, you can actually shop from there. You know, and let's say you're at a ballpark with a few kids, right? And everybody wants something. So from here, you can actually see what's online, what's available. Similar situation, you can actually shop from your seat. You know, you can actually pay through your credit card, perhaps through PayPal, and then you can have the merchandise delivered right to you. All right. So. 
And I think, again, there are endless possibilities. Yep. And basically set up, that's what I talked about before, that you know you can actually set up your like, profile for yourself mm -hmm. that will have information about you. One thing that is actually important about this application is like it's generic. Mm -hmm. So this application, one day you are at the ballpark, and it's great, you're populated with all the information that is relevant, that is germane to that venue. But let's say two days later you go to a rock concert. Then the application itself will get information for that particular event. All right? yeah. And then you can actually able and disable um, the features you know, based on the event that you're attending. Great, and when can we expect this to... Well, right now, the technology, okay, to make this happen is all available. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what's, you know, what's being developed is basically, you know, the requirements that we're getting from the people that want to deploy this application. It's going to take a little time, so, but I, I would say that, you know, over the next several months, we're just going to start seeing a lot of activity um, uh, along these lines. So, the, the technology is ready. What now needs to happen is, like, develop more, like, the business model side of it. Great. Okay. Great. Thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you very much for stopping by. Hopefully